Okay, recording. Excellent. So let me let me share that screen real quick. We're gonna get in. We're gonna watch this video. We're gonna watch it. I think we're recording. We are recording. All right, Kyle, let's do it. So this is uh, which one was this? It was the IOHC All Star Draw Full Contest? Full contest. So we're gonna we're gonna take a look at this. I haven't seen this one. So you you saw this, right? Yes. All right. So I'm gonna give you my my uh what do i always say my big fat bloated opinion <laughs> and i'm going to talk through this one so this is going to be a little bit different because i i'm just giving you guys my feeling because i'm with my buddy so we're gonna we're gonna take a look is it showing up on your side yep. all right here we go we turn it over to the band. finals of the all-star draw <laughs> i love his voice okay Oh, yeah, okay. Yeah, this is going to be good. Oh, not too many people. Mm. Mm. All right, Kyle, who you like so far? Well, I know that there's a couple that... They have a lot of experience because I've seen them in Strictly together. So probably unfair advantage. I'm going to guess the ones right there in front. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> yeah I, well, I think he changed his hair. I didn't recognize him at first, but I liked, uh, I like his hair. It looks good. Yeah. And I've seen Andy Lee. Yeah. Good. Yeah. So there's old faces and new faces dancing with everybody. That's great. Yeah, I think that's cool. Body Keeps action. it fresh. Oh boy, right. let's Go see. Oh yes, Grace Durant. See now that's Grace. That's the girl I was telling you about. One of the. One of oh the yes, yes, yes. Yeah, you told me about her. Yeah. Yeah, no joke. With Jerry. Yeah, dude. Let's see. Let's see what happens. Okay. Oh, so they get highlights on this one. Uh huh. That's good. Let's see. See what people can do under pressure. <laughs> I like this guy because he's very creative. I like that. Yeah, I like creativity first. Yeah. You good timing? Yeah. He's got that young movement, you know what I mean? Uh-huh. A lot of energy. energy. <laughs> but he's got a good ear. He's got really great timing. He does. And she's crushing it too. Oh yeah. Okay. Yeah. See what I mean? Yeah. He, he's young, but he's got like the the natural ability to know when to like chill a little bit. Mm -hmm. Not to say he was going crazy, but it's just he has that ability to do that. I, I like to see that early on, which means watch out. <laughs> and she's got a natural joy. You notice that? Like. Yeah. I like her her expressions like she's having a good time. I like her lines too when she's doing like the swing outs and stuff and like <laughs> dragging the leg. A lot of a lot of followers do that, but they mm -hmm. kind of lose touch of the connection part with their partner. Yeah, yeah and she, they get that energy. Yes. <laughs> yes. Oh, we're getting every shot with this. Like people drinking and chilling out on nap, you know, blankets and stuff. All right. All right. All right.
Yeah, I love that. <laughs> yeah. Thing. Yes. Okay. Yeah, man. <laughs> Look at what she was doing. We call it the stank face. I love that. Uh -huh. Yeah, that that's that move I saw uh, Peter and Naomi do a while back. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I think I talked about it in one of my videos, but that was like the highlight move. I don't know. I forget what that move is called. Yeah, I don't know, but it, it was so Peter Strom and it was so good, so well executed, and Naomi just went with it. It was so natural. Wow. All right. Everybody's having fun. How'd you feel about that one? Yeah, that was, that was, that was, it was like a, they had a good time. I, yeah, I, I didn't like that. <laughs> I, I think they had a good time and they were excited, but it's just, there was something about like just being overly excited. I feel like it's being, it's a put on like, Hey, mm -hmm. look, you know, we're being, we're being something for you. We're being everything you want us to be. Yeah. It was kind of like showcasing. Yes. Yes. Now she's dynamite. Have you ever danced with her? I have. Oh one time. my gosh. One time I have. She's so good. So much yeah. like musicality and rhythm. Like, I hope he doesn't get in her way because this, yeah, she's just so good. Mm hmm. This is a this is this is well matched. Cause he's more relaxed. Yes. See, this is this is what I mean. I, I rarely watch followers. You Ooh. know what I mean as a lead, yeah. but she's killing it. She's Get making that. me like want to watch her. Mm -hmm. Ooh. Ooh. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> yeah, she just, yeah, that was fun. That was fun. What I liked best about that one is I got a feeling of who they are as dancers. I could just get a snapshot of what they would be like social dancing. You know what I mean? Like, I know what she was like, but it was good to see him kind of like compliment her. She was, re he was really relaxed. I think they were just well paired. Yeah. Yeah. And that's, that's lucky. Okay. This, this is going to be interesting. Grace and Jerry. Yeah, because Jerry's chill too, and Grace is chill too. Well, let, let's see what goes down. Hey, yeah, that was cool footwork. Yeah, it was. Hey, I like that. I like that. 
I never seen anybody do that for a break, which is really different. And maybe it wasn't that big of a deal. It's just that I've seen it and I haven't seen it done that way. Right. Yeah. Great footwork with Jerry. I, I think watching Grace, she's such a computer, man. Like tech, she's such a technician. Like I, I almost feel like she needed a more creative leader to like really push her ability or she almost kind of gets forgotten about, you know? Right. She's like plain dynamite, <laughs> like vanilla yeah. dynamite. It's unreal. And I try to explain that to people. She's just so good. But she's not that kind of dancer where you're like, oh, look at me, <laughs> Maria. Come on. Yeah, the hot tub. Oh, all right. All right. I like how she's marrying. Sax is great. Not a ball, but we're yeah. Good. <laughs> all right i can't be negative but i am going to be negative i did not like that one yeah. and the reason i didn't like that one is i felt like this is that was not the level of what the competition should be at you know what i mean mm -hmm. someone's got to say it like i felt like that was more for maybe the leader intermediate to intermediate advance and but who am i to criticize i'm just an audience member today i'm just watching it kyle <laughs> yes. don't be mad at me i'm just watching all right let's see what's up andrew's in la oh yes i i've seen her before and i've seen him before Yeah, I like his handhold. You can really tell like what part of the, the world he's been dancing at. It's awesome. I like how tight his footwork is too. Yes. It's like really sharp. Mm -hmm. Come on, piano player. Just killing it. You know, and knowing the amount of people that are here, they probably had to squeeze a lot of people into this competition. It really does seem like uh, it just wasn't enough people. Mm -hmm. Come on. Okay, he did the stop too. <laughs> he did. 
saw it. I saw it. Yes, good timing. That was that was interesting too. I, I really liked his style. Yeah. I really like that. Andrew. Next up from Sweden, give it up for Vilma and Victor. There they go. Yeah. Let's see. Oh man, they don't get two flags. They just have one flag. <laughs> <laughs> now, is this a this is a this was the draw, right? Jack and Jill. Yeah. Okay. I think they're just messing around here. <laughs> yeah, which is great because they're partners, yeah, right? Yeah, you know, yeah, they are. They work together. Boom. I love that redirect. That was cool. Yes, from that tuck turn. Yeah. It never gets old. It always catches me off guard. Yeah, see their level, they're just so much tighter because they've they've worked together for years. And I believe they were boogie woogie dancers before. Oh. Okay, yep. <laughs> see what I mean? Like they, they have like that ear for like embellishment. I love that, man. Mm -hmm. Oh, in the yes. <laughs> Her face is like, ah, oh. love that. Oh, yes. <laughs> <laughs> See that look, they look like they were having fun, mm -hmm. you know. And I know they're technically good. And that I, what shimmy. I liked about that, that shimmy. yes, oh. <laughs> yes. And, and they were having fun, not at the expense of their ability. Like they didn't dumb it down. Like yeah. they were, they were still holding it down, which is really respectable. Yeah, that was solid. Whew. All right, let's see what's up with this. Yeah, she's she's dynamite. Oh my gosh. <laughs> I don't see her dance much with a partner, so I'm, I'm curious to see how well this goes down. Ah, bro. <laughs> mm -hmm. Building something up here. Ooh, cooking it. Yeah, she's, she's got so much solo ability. It's amazing. And look how much control she has, like an improvising. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> Not even close. <laughs> Not even close. So good. Oh, she's like the man. It's crazy. 
it's rare to see a, an accomplished solo dancer do well in partner dancing. You know what I mean? Like they always like are off a little bit. Like they don't know how to technically work with their partners. She's blurring the lines, man. That was good. And they, they nailed the shot. Yeah, she, she was like so on point technically, but I was impressed when he wasn't leading anything, how she didn't just be busy like doing stuff. Like she yeah. was like, no, the music's not doing anything. We're going to hit it on this beat. I'm mm -hmm. like, wow, see? Oh, so good. Oh, okay. So that was everybody. Yep. Let's do Yes. That was uh, the, the real question. The real question is who was second and third? <laughs> you know what I mean? Right. Right. I, yeah. yeah. Man. Yeah. She was dynamic. She was the best dancer for me. Absolutely. Like, out, of, out of everybody. Hands down. Yeah. And I, and I, I love that little twirling move she did in the air. And it wasn't for me, it wasn't even because she could do a lot of stuff. It was more about her choice of when to do the movements. Right. And how she like uh the I guess the the music and how she hit the the, the beats to the yeah. song. And this is how she is in, in most of the routines I've seen for like like uh stuff she does with like Hector and Sonia, a lot of that is just some nasty choreography. And it's so nuanced and they're too good for the current scene <laughs> that we have right now. Cause there's there's levels of solo jazz dancers. You know what I mean? There's uh what's my boy's name? I forget his name, but he's from like Brussels or whatever. Some of these guys are so good that it's almost like they belong in the hip hop community. <laughs> you know, we have this dichotomy between like Oh, those are hip hoppers, like real street dancers out there, you know, and they're coming to the hip hop, the swing scene and we give them a little platform and then they come out and like crush it, not just dance a little bit, but they're good at what they do coming into swing. But whenever I see swing dancers going into a hip hop scene, it doesn't, it doesn't represent the same intensity. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? We might have an intermediate or an advanced guy or girl and, and they're good only because the hip hop dancer doesn't even know how to do it. <laughs> You know what I mean? But I feel like this is them. They're in that league of, of, yeah, we know the same steps. Everybody in this competition did a lot of the same steps, but there, she's so nuanced about knowing when to do the steps that sets her light years apart from everybody else. And there's very few who can do that. I mean, you have your black belt level swing dancers who, you know, they've been advanced for a long time, 20 something years for many of them, but it, it's more about, showing us how differently they're going to do stuff we've seen for years and years and years. And it's always some little thing. It's always like placing a movement on the, on an awkward beat and then knowing when to not move where you're just like, what? They did the shim sham <laughs> that way <laughs> in the world that they improvised. Like, and it's the same thing. It's like, it's weird. It really, how do you feel about that? Like when you see dancers like her and like, she should have been an invitational in my mind. 
She you know should I mean? Yeah, I agree. I, I've actually, I've taken a, a solo course uh, class with her when she was many years back. And, man, she was taking that, that um, she did like a routine and it, it hurt my brain, man. <laughs> oh, <good. laughs> she, she just like uppercutted you. It was like, take, take it, American. Wake up. <laughs> Hey, but that's good though. You know what I mean? Like it, it pushed you to kind of think differently about the rhythms. I'm sure. Mm -hmm. And it's that's movement. yeah, man. The way she like just moves is is and she uses like her whole like body and, uh -huh. you know, it, and she kind of just grooves. It's like it's it's a lot different. So yeah, it's not like moves, like segmented moves that we do. She's that, like, you know, fluid. already have hand movements to them. You know, we're, yeah. we're, we're supposed to have certain hand movements and, you know, when we do things, we're supposed to snap. She doesn't do any of those little trigger idiosyncratic movements. They're all like germane to her just natural body movement and feeling. It's like something coming out of her as opposed to her, like showing us what she's learned that we've all seen, you know, just right, done right. a little differently. But yeah, she's one of my favorites right now. Who who else uh, did you notice that was in this one that really stood out? Um, I mean the I guess that strictly couple. I think what's their name? Victor oh, was Elma. Elsa. Uh, I think. Oh yeah. Oh no no you're talking to the Swedish couple right? Yeah, the one that uh, you said did boogie woogie at one yes. point. Yes. They were yeah. very tight, so I, yeah. I you know they're they're definitely gonna go up there just because they know each other's dancing style. Yeah, I almost feel though that it should be like illegal, you know, <laughs> if you've been partnered with this person for, you know, X many years, then uh, you guys have to redraw. <laughs> oh, I thought you were talking about it should be illegal that boogie woogie dancers. Are oh, no, no, no. You're trying to start a war, uh, no. Kyle. <laughs> what are you trying to do? <laughs> what are you saying? <laughs> In a way, you're right. You know, the, the idea that, you know, if you draw somebody that you dance with come on now we're, we're not stupid unless the people in the audience don't know you know mm -hmm. what i mean mm -hmm. but yeah there's something about having chemistry with that person but in my mind i think the big question is like they came from another background of dancing which is which is known for discipline like they actually have to compete really well <laughs> to get notoriety and i'm just so impressed on how they were able to take that level of intensity even though they work together and apply that to their lindy hop like right. they still are tight. They're not just like saying, well, we don't apply timing and showmanship to Lindy Hop because, you know, that was, we grew up out of Boogie Woogie. So that was, you know, our childish, now we're, we're Lindy Hop. They, they haven't forgot the showmanship. I love that about Boogie Woogie dancers. They never dropped that. And they didn't do that at all. I mean, I, I loved what they did. Yeah. So was cheesy, those are but... the first one, two places, right? Second, yeah. second. But the third is like, for me, it's a little cloudy, you know, I don't know. What, what do you think? You mean for like third place? Yeah. Uh, I can tell you who I hate. It's <laughs> not, not going to be that today. Because <laughs> you know I will. I try to keep it positive as much as possible. Could you imagine if someone else did my channel in Oof. the current condition of the swing community? It probably well, it's has hard because like, you know, you don't want to offend uh, people and you, you also want to tell the truth. <laughs> yeah. It's like yeah. a line between like, well, you know, where, where, where do I stand on it? Exactly. And you don't want to be just insulting, but sometimes telling the truth is insulting to people, you know, no matter how nice you are, you can say what's true and however they feel sometimes is the thing that they elevate higher than reality. And sometimes you got to have people throw some cold water on you and say, Hey, wake up. You know, if you run into a wall driving 80, you're dead. Okay. There's <laughs> not how you feel about it. And so <laughs> and, in this competition, the judges are sitting there too. The audience members are sitting there too. Not everybody's like, yeah, everybody. Some people are just like, I ain't feeling this. I don't even know who these people are, but they're all right. You know, they have that facial expression that says indifference. And, you know, I like to tap into that feeling that everybody has inside that nobody wants to talk about. I love that because I feel like that's what drives all the dancers to get better when they hear that, like that kind of feedback. If you can do it in a responsible way, you know, not like just blasting people about stuff that has nothing to do with their dancing. 
Yeah. So my my third, I'm gonna be honest. Like I I I don't know if I like the couple as much, but I think Elza, Elze, yeah, mm-hmm. she, yeah from Elza. Lithuania. She was my second favorite dancer. Uh, the whole right. had the whole yeah, thing. Yeah, 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 yeah. Like if I was going individual dancers, she was my second favorite dancer. Mm-hmm. And I, I think as a couple, they would probably be my third place. Okay. For for me. For yeah. me. I, Alexandros did a great job uh balancing well with her. But I, if I think if he was with somebody else, I don't know how it would have would have come across. If he was with someone like Grace, who was a little bit more reserved, I don't even know if I would have picked him, you know, put pick them as a couple. They could have been technically perfect. But I just think two people being the same tone sometimes doesn't help them either. You know, doesn't help both of them. Right. But because he contrasted her so well, that that's why I like them. Yeah, else, I, I agree. Would say, it's I either say. I would say between Elza and then you know um, the guy from LA and Andrew oh, Flash. Uh, yeah, I forgot LA. about them. Yes. So you you like them? All right. So what perfect match. It put him with Elza. Do you think that would have worked out? Oh, you know, well, that's a toughie. That would be a toughie because um, I feel like Andrew is very tight. And uh, I, I mean, I guess it could work, but I just, I don't know. Maybe. Yeah, it's it's an interesting thing to think about. You know, you mentioned that that buzzword that I like to talk about, like tightness, which usually uh, is associated with how well they stretch the their their bodies. You know, they have elasticity in their limbs and his is much tighter. So you see more contrast, you know, there's not like this long pause between his movements. Everything was very sharp and crisp, yet musical like Elza, but hers was more stretchy. Yes. So how well does that work together when he's like demanding certain stops at certain points and she might want to flow a little bit, you know, like, like, uh, Claudia hers was like yeah. more like that. Where's the flow. Sometimes it, sometimes it works. But in my in my book, I don't think it works as well. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I'm with you. I like I like his sharp, pointy, stretch, uh, less elastic way of um, executing the technique. And he was just so tight. The syncopations with his footwork. Right, right. I don't think there was a suitable follower for him in this competition that fit that style. But now, when I go back and think about it, yeah, I'm I'm, I'm gonna think as well. Hmm. He needed like a Laura he, Keats or something like that. Yes. I think the follower, um, hmm. the one in the pink, Maria. Oh, um, I think, I don't know. Or uh, I'm thinking more Sophia. Actually, or Grace. Andrew or the, and Grace. That would have been so? a good pairing. Yeah. Yeah. And, and I will say out of my own bias, yeah, Grace can go either way. She can she can stop and be very like rigid when you when you need her to be, like to accentuate the music. And she can flow. She can she can vacillate between both of those um ways of articulating the technique. But I will say, just an observation, her comfort zone is more on the flow. Right. But you know, if someone is putting pressure on her, she can nail it. I I think. I always talk about like the, them switching over to the Pamela mentality, like where you can you can hit things and still look lacy and flowy, but when it comes down to like punching the music and like hitting certain breaks, it's that's that ninjammer thing, man. It's mm-hmm. so hard to explain. It's like Ani Trudeau, a lot of those followers who can just hit the beat. Right, and right. Sometimes you need a guy like that to match, you know, with the girl, and and it doesn't work when you don't get them both. But you might be right. Grace could have been a good partner for him. I no, think so. I, I wish there was more, because um, I know we're talking about like tight and loose. I wish there was more dancers that could do both in the dance. Yeah, it's, tr- it's, it's, I find that there's a lot that can do both and they tend to do it without being aware of it. Right. Just, you know, on with who they dance with, they kind of, they're kind of forced to do it depending on who they work with. But some of them look good and some of them don't look good. <laughs> you know what I mean? I think it's more for me, some yeah, actually look yeah. good going back and forth, and some just look like something's wrong. Like there's they're they're connecting, but they're not there's no feeling to it, you know. 
Mm -hmm. um, that gray zone for me is probably with those San Francisco dancers. A lot of them like Ryan Callaway. That, I love Ryan, man. Oh. Bro, he's one of my top 10. That It's that middle ground where they can have a lot of intensity changes, but yet still flow a little bit, you know, when they want to and move and bounce, but it isn't just move and stop all the time. Right. But right. they're kind of, they're, they're kind of that middle ground. And even Ann Money, she's, that's his partner. But, you know, at the same time, I've seen her work with other dancers and in that example, it looks a little different. Like she's better off like being able to move and stop than just sit there and flow because it looks like it's boring to her she's underrated like there's mm -hmm. so many followers who are underrated because they don't fit a particular style that's popular you know um there's so many like sarah breck she's another one like her and uh and, yep. and Dax. Dax, so dynamic yeah. together oh man yes but she she's one that can like punch and stop and then she can flow, but when she does that, it just, you know, she loses her edge, you know, and people don't appreciate what she has to offer, you know, in that sense. But yeah, she's dynamic. She's another good one. But yeah, this was pretty good. You were right. You were right. You know, it was, it was good. I, I felt like maybe because the event didn't have as many people, they just wanted to put a lot of people who've been around for a while right. into kind of one group and not have like everybody like begging to get into the invitational because some of these people i would say at least four of those dancers in this one should have been in the invitational in terms of the the level of ability right and so right. that's just me you know if this was in korea none of these people would win in terms in terms of their technical ability now the cool part you could get diversity and in, in the in the elasticity and things like that and you might compare some of those technicians with people who have real like personality that's different, like Claudia, you might find something really special, but yeah, I think, I think uh, they would have blown everybody away. I'm telling you, man, once you go, you'll see what I'm talking about. It's just, the, the level is so good that you, there's nothing you can teach unless they go in specifically asking you to teach them something very unique to you. Right. And that's like, that's humbling. You know what I mean? Yeah, very humbling. Uh, you guys heard my favorite. Was your favorite different than mine? Or? No, no, no. Definitely uh, Claudia and uh, what was the other guy's name? Uh, I believe he is from either like, uh, I think he's from France or Brussels, one of the two. Yeah, Claudia and Jonathan. Jonathan, yes. No, he's from... Uh, he see. just gave Claudia like all the freedom to just do <laughs> amazing, amazing things. Uh, he's from Sweden. Oh, look at that. Interesting. I thought he was French. Yeah. So he's from Sweden, yeah. but yeah, man. Yeah. He, like you said, he gave her a lot of, I hate using that word space as if they're doing something totally different. Like following means I just get to do what I want. If he gets out of my way, <laughs> you know what I mean? You can, she's yeah. a dancer. That's what she does, but there's something more organic and more authentic. And, and it's something completely different when they come together and they, they work as one body sharing energy that's moving at different points of emphasis. And so she's like, yeah, I respect her even more after watching this. I really do. Cause I rarely see many that can go back and forth like that from solo dancing at, at a really high level and then going into partner dancing and it match. That's rare. Man. Very, very rare. And, and that, uh, there you have it folks yeah and he he knew what her skill set was i'm assuming they've danced together for for a while yeah you, you know what it's like when you dance with certain followers and you can see them moving and you just know they're filling in the gap like the drummers do in the in the band you're like i ain't gotta do nothing i'm just gonna sit here and be quiet <laughs> I'm, just, I'm just gonna sit here and shut up and 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 play my position right so that we both look good you know what i mean like some people's personalities stand out that way even when i'm dancing with them where I switch to a different personality. Like I have three different me's when I'm dancing to accommodate for different styles of people. And it keeps me challenged. You know, I think it's fun. You know, I can develop a different repertoire of movements. Some movements work with different styles or they look better with different styles as opposed to just doing the same moves with the same elasticity to every style. It just looks kind of generic. But yeah, she's, uh, she's dynamic. She's really dynamic. And he knew how to do it, right? Oh man, that was good. Well, good. that's it folks. Uh see y'all next time on that on that video. All right. <laughs>